What's up, you guys? So the fallout from Will Smith assaulting Chris Rock on stage at the Oscars is continuing, and it may be harsher than any of us ever imagined. Will Smith recently penned a memoir detailing his life from childhood, growing up in an abusive home, to now being a blockbuster and music success. And that memoir was actually supposed to be the foundation for a movie biopic about his life that may not get picked up now because of the fallout after his outburst at the Oscars. And his former on-screen sister, Tatiana Ali, is speaking out and taking a surprising stance. Will Smith's book is described as a tale of Will's transformation from a fearful child in a tense West Philadelphia home to one of the biggest rap stars of his era and then one of the biggest movie stars in Hollywood history with a string of box office successes that will likely never be broken is an epic tale of inner transformation and outer triumph and Will tells it astonishingly well, but it's only half the story. Will Smith thought, with good reason, that he had won at life. Not only was his own success unparalleled, his whole family was at the pinnacle of the entertainment world, only they didn't see it that way. They felt more like star performers in his circus, a seven-day-a-week job that they hadn't signed up for. It turned out Will Smith's education wasn't nearly over. This memoir is the product of a profound journey of self-knowledge, a reckoning with all that your will can get you and all that it can leave behind. So that's the book description. And now it seems like the movie that was supposed to be based off the book might not get picked up. OK Magazine reports, only weeks ago, streaming services were knee deep in a bidding war for the rights to a biopic based on the life of Will Smith, as told in his autobiography, Will, which documents his childhood and his turbulent relationship with his abusive father. Netflix and Apple Plus have now reportedly taken back their offers following the infamous altercation that occurred at the 94th Academy Awards. Streaming services were previously ready to jump at the opportunity to host the coveted biography. As told to The Sun in March, quote, some feared that Will's brutal honesty in his book could harm his reputation, but it's done the opposite and helped him connect with his audience like never before. When he signed his book deal, he did so with an accompanying biopic in mind. That is clearly no longer the case as the two major players in the bidding war have both decided to step back. Netflix and Apple Plus have quietly removed their bids for a Will Smith biopic and will instead relocate the funds and develop original ideas from new black actors. That's what a source spilled to the sun surrounding the controversial movie. Working with Will has become a risky business, according to the source. They now plan on developing ideas with more family-friendly stars like Mike Epps and Michael B. Jordan. As OK previously reported, author Mark Manson, who co-wrote the actor's memoir, revealed Will Smith acted the way he did at the Oscars because he was, quote, deeply triggered by the comments made about his wife's medical condition. He was taken straight back to childhood, seeing his mom getting abused by his dad, according to Mark. He said this time he didn't take it sitting down and retaliated as unfortunately 50 million people across the globe all saw. You know, I think it would be a complete shame if Will Smith's biopic or biopic was canceled, especially considering how apologetic Will has been about the whole situation. He's acknowledged his wrongdoing and he's seeking help. And I don't know what more people want from him. Leave a comment and share your thoughts on Will's biopic possibly not getting picked up for streaming. I also want to talk about Will Smith's former on-screen sister, Tatiana Ali, who has finally made a statement regarding the Oscars fiasco. The actress and singer tweeted, I love hashtag Will Smith very much. I think Will might have deleted his Twitter, but she put, I love hashtag Will Smith very much. At Chris Rock didn't deserve to be hit, period. My heart aches for what has happened. I don't know what caused that chaos and confusion, but I do know that Will has a big heart. I've seen him many times try his best to do what is right. I believe in him. 
If you're watching this video and you're also unsure what caused the chaos and confusion, click the link in the top right hand corner of this video where I break down how Chris Rock has actually been taunting Jada about her activism since 1997 when she first spoke at the Million Women's March. I don't think it was okay for Will to be violent towards Chris Rock, but I do think it's important to know and understand the background of what's going on today. But anyway, people have been responding to Tatiana Ali's remarks with one person saying, Will has literally been perfect, perfect his entire career. He has one, albeit awful, meltdown and people are ready to burn him at the stake as if he never contributed to one of the most highly syndicated, wholesome black TV shows, eight blockbuster movies, countless rap songs with zero curse. And another saying, I don't know what caused that chaos or confusion, quoting Tatiana Ali. And they said, LMAO, so you didn't hear about Chris Rock continually making jokes about Jada for years and the world joking about Will's private life for years? I don't know, maybe those things played a part. Just maybe, LOL. And another person saying, it is okay to say nothing at all regarding this situation. So what do y'all think about Tatiana Ali's response? I'm not surprised by it because I know she definitely supports Will Smith and I'm sure she means the best for him, regardless of her wording. I'm sure she means the best for him. Leave a comment and share your thoughts about her statement and Will's biopic or biopic possibly not being picked up by streaming services. As always, thanks for watching.